Hey guys, what's going on? I'm at the Caveman Q here again, Paleo Problem Long Island, we're at thecaveman.com. Today's question is, should you be supplementing with horny goat weed? I'm the Caveman! And the answer is, probably not. Particularly if you are a professional athlete, as this is most popularly known as potentially one of the supplements that John Jones took when he popped for performance enhancing drugs. So maybe there's some tainted batches. But what is horny goat weed? Well, it's a Chinese herb traditionally known as yin yang huao, and it's thought to help the erectile dysfunction. Yeah, it's supposed to help give you that strong D. Anyway, the way it's supposed to work is by way of a flavanol compound known as icarian. And it has shown in vitro, in cells, some phosphodiesterase type 5 inhibitor activity, most commonly associated with the drug class, including Viagra, Cialis, Levitra, yeah, those guys. Now, their primary mechanism of action is thought to be by way of increasing the production of nitric oxide. Unfortunately, horny goat weed is magnitudes lower in terms of its bonding capacity. It is a much weaker inhibitor. Interesting side note, however, some more recent research has indicated that Icarian may be beneficial in combating osteoporosis and in improving the wound healing rate and outcomes following rotator cuff injury. Both the tendon and the bone can heal faster and better. But moving past the horny goat weed, let's go back to the original purpose. What else can we do if we're dealing with ED? Well, first of all, like we said, the potential mechanism behind horny goat weed as well as Viagra and the other types of drugs like that is going to be the production of nitric oxide. You want to improve circulation. So things like cayenne, potentially the amino acid L-arginine could be beneficial. From there, stress-induced performance anxiety can be an issue as well. Whether it's an actual downstream effect affecting your testosterone because of elevated cortisol or just anxiety, well, Let's look at the HPA axis. So potentially some adaptogenic herbs, things like ashwagandha, things like rhodiola, potentially some mushrooms like cordyceps and shaga. Those could be beneficial. From there, nutrient sufficiency. So making sure you have adequate zinc, the essential fatty acids. So lots of grass-fed liver, lots of wild-caught oysters, egg yolks, all going to be a great idea. But either way, if you're dealing with those issues, get more towards the root cause than just try and pop a pill. So, your biggest takeaways are that, no, if we're dealing with ED, we probably shouldn't be taking horny goat weed, particularly if you're an athlete. It may be tainted if you're looking at a poor source, and it has weak receptor site activity and probably won't get the job done. Actually focus on the root cause, address your micronutrient deficiencies, your circulation, and any stress you're dealing with. But if you are dealing with osteoporosis and or are trying to improve some wound healing, there may be some benefit. The research is still being done, but possibly. So either way, hope this helped you out, guys. You know what to do. Like and subscribe down below. Share with your friends. Head over to Instagram and Twitter and follow me at Mike the Caveman over on Facebook at Paleo Palm Long Island and, of course, over at thecaveman.com. That being said, have a wonderful rest of your day. Put down the goat. I'll see you tomorrow. The answer is... Yeah. Probably. Now, daily. I'm the K-Man.